نحمد و نسلی اللہ رسول کریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی سودری و یسر لی امری واہل العقدم ملسانی یفقہ قولی و جعلی وزیر من آخلی اللہ مفک نافین آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان دا نیکسٹ فیو سیشنس آئی ول بی گونگ یو اے ویری بیسک بٹ اے ویری سمپل انٹروڈکشن ٹو ایروبک گرامر اینڈ دا پرپز آف دیز بریف سیشنس ول بی دیٹ اٹ ول میک دا کمپریہینشن آف دا ورڈ ٹو ورڈ ٹرانسلیشن مچ مور ایزیئر ان شاء اللہ میں اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ہیلپ اس سپورٹ اس اینڈ گائڈ اس رب سدنی علما ٹو اسٹارٹ آف ود وی آل نو دیٹ ان انگلش اور ان اینی ادر لینگویج دا بیسک ورڈس آر دا ناؤنس وچ are the naming words, then they are the verbs which show an action, and then they are the short joining or the connecting words which are generally the conjunctions and the prepositions. And then we have the pronouns which are used instead of the noun. And uh, then we have adjectives which explain the quality or the quantity of the noun which is being talked about. Now, today, talking about the nouns, the first thing which we need to understand and recognize is which noun is a common noun. A common noun is the, play, is the name used for any person, any place, anything. And how do we recognize that a noun is a common noun in Arabic is that if on the last alphabet of the word, of that, of that noun, the word, there is either there is two zabar or two pesh or two zair. Like you see jannatun. This means what? I'll always translate is as any garden. Or a garden, kitabin, a book, musliman, a Muslim, or any Muslim. So when you have two zabar, two pesh, or two zair on the last alphabet of the word for a noun, then it is what? It is a common noun. Now, as far as the proper noun, identification of the proper noun is concerned, when the beginning words of alif and lam are attached to a noun, this is usually a proper noun. A proper noun being the name of a special or a particular or a proper place or person or a thing. So it is recognized with an alif lam in the beginning of the word. As you saw, there was jannatun, so it was any garden. When it is al jannah, it becomes the garden. When it is al kitab, it becomes a specific the book. When it is ar rasul, when it is just rasulun, it will be any rasul. But when it is our Rasul, it will be a specific Rasul which the Qur'an or which we are talking about in, in Arabic. Next thing what we need to relate while we are talking about a noun is the gender of the noun. And the gender can be feminine and masculine. In Arabic what we need to do is that we need to recognize the noun if it is feminine. And if it has the points for the recognition of feminine, it will be considered as feminine. And if these points are not present, then it will be considered as a masculine. So the points of identif- identification for the gender are just specified for the feminine noun, but there are no specific indications for a masculine noun. So points to recognize a feminine noun is that the last 
alphabet of the noun if it is a round ta like in jannatin kalimatin shajaratin baldatin this is what it means that it is a feminine then when there is khari zabar and ya this will be a, a feminine noun like kubra sughra when there is a uh, alif madda a and hamza in the end of the word like sughra safra un this will be what this will be a feminine and then the paired parts of the body like we have two ears two hands two feet all these are what these paired parts of the body are the paired organs of the body like we have two kidneys and we have two lungs so these paired parts of the body are also taken as feminine in quran and in arabic and all the heavenly bodies of the universe like the sun the moon the stars this these are all considered as feminine and the angels are also considered as feminine and angels are feminine because al malaikatu there is there is the gol ta the round ta in the end so this is also considered as feminine so all those nouns which do not have the indications or the recognizing points for a feminine will be considered as masculine now regarding the quantity the number of the nouns this is a concept which we need to understand for arabic language specifically is different from english and even from many other languages because like in english we have a singular for a thing which is one in quantity and for anything which is more than one we label it as a plural but in arabic there is a quantity for one which is known as wahid and then there is there is a noun for things which are two and this is known as tasniya and then there is a quantity for plural which is more than two so we need to see certain points of identification for the tasniya that is the two and for the plural wahid is one and tasniya is two and plural is more than two so how do we identify that a noun is showing that it is for two when in the end of the word there is hamza sakin and noon zerni or there is ya sakin and noon zerni like for a muslim the word is muslim but when it is muslimani it means two muslims or when it is muslimaini it means two muslims i will inshallah in advanced sessions i think inshallah i will explain that why at certain places it is muslimani and why at certain places it is muslimaini but i think till now it should be sufficient for you to remember that when there is ani at the end of the word or aini at the end of the word muslimani and muslimaini means what two muslims so now for the indication of plurals if in the end of the word there is waw sakin and nun zabarna una or in the end of the word there is ya sakin and nun zabarna that is ina it will be a plural noun like from muslim we will have muslimuna or muslimina and that will mean what more than two muslims or plural muslims may it be muslimuna and muslimina why do we use muslimuna at certain places and why do we use rather prefer muslimina at other places inshallah this we will be discussing in the future sessions so this is sufficient for 
the sessions of today and I would request all of you to open up your Quran and uh, out of like two uh, stanzas of Quran try to find out the proper nouns and the common nouns identify the common nouns and the proper nouns in the two stanzas and then make a list and then after that the next thing you have to do, do is you have to identify and see if you can pick out which noun is a feminine and which are the masculine nouns. And then if you have time, it would be excellent if you can pick out which nouns are plural and which nouns this might be like something difficult because um, the tasniya is mentioned very infrequently in Quran and the two stanzas of Quran you might have opened might not have any tasniya but do give it a try inshallah may Allah help us support us guide us Allahumma fakkihna fi deen rabbana la tuzik qulubana ba'da is hadaytana wa hablana millatun kar rahma innaka antul wahhab